Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fantasy Brony, welcome you back to Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6 version 2.0. Oh, you were injured? That sucks. Yeah, as far as I know, this door is forever locked, but uh I figured I'd come back here since there is someone new. Which is this guy! Really? How did you know she was here? It's like, what are you doing here? Uh, no. <laughs> it's like, I'm so mad that I'm not with some pony right now. Yeah, I saw that play that Chrysalis was in. I'm convinced you're more of a jerk than I thought. Nah, you'll never change, even though we basically haven't seen you since season one. I mean, yeah, I know he had like an appearance or two, but <laughs> he didn't say anything. Other than that ridiculous comic with him in freaking shining armor, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, and also that other one. That that uh, that little one-off. That was a good one, though. Gotta admit. Yeah, if you don't have rarity, then he'll say something slightly different, which is basically just looking for her, I guess, asking about her, but... Yeah, there's no reason to do that right now. I mean, it doesn't amount to anything. It's just something you can do. If you talk to the mayor, he'll say something about her, about how, like, uh, only a few of the residents were killed. Because if you look around, some of them, at least two ponies are gone. And I don't know what's up with this purple guy. He wasn't around before. Or she. <laughs> so, uh, maybe she was in the whole burning building scenario there. But anyway, going back to the uh, rain boom. Oh. What, you don't know the story of the Founders either? Oh. I... How was this part of your plan? Like, how did you know the Espers would come out? Hmm. Stop laughing over there! What's up, Twy? You sense a disturbance in the forest? What island? Aren't there mostly continents below us? Huh? What's, uh... Um... Feel bad for those guys. That's gotta be a pretty bad feeling. Having that big old thing above you there. Did those holes used to be lakes or something? Eh, maybe they were just ground they didn't quite make it up. But, uh, yeah, they're flying somehow. I wonder where they even found those. And I don't think they the statues there actually had those designs in version 1.0, so really nice job on that. Hmm. Well, that can't be good. Really? Not Wendigos? Seriously? How does that even work? Anyway, that part of the world map is gone now. 
and this happens automatically here. Now we have the option of finding the floating continent, which I do not want to do just yet. Oh, actually, I didn't really want to do that either, but yeah, the map was briefly turned off, I guess, because the world map kind of reset a little bit there, because, yeah, that part of the world is gone, because it's kind of floating above uh, this continent somewhere. In fact, if we go to some of the towns around here, is this one of them? Yeah, you'll actually see the shadow up above. I kind of want to come here anyway. Oh, yeah, like this one. Yeah, I kind of wanted to come here anyway. Because there's a few things that I want to buy uh, before I get up there. And let's see, one of them is about eh, 10 to 12 flame edges there. I don't need any of these other ones. Oh, I already had two of them. Oh, <laughs> right, I forgot I got those from uh, some of the enemies back there at the Empire. If you don't have them, then you also might want to buy uh, at least three Peridot rings for the future here. I'm going to kind of need them on. I'm up there. But I already have those. I'm kind of wondering if I should buy more. Because I am going to need more eventually, but I probably don't need them right now. Or, well, I don't need them right now, but anyway, there's a little bit more that I want to do besides b purchasing those couple of things. And, because there's a few more locations that are opened up to us. Uh, since the Empire decided to abandon Appaloosa Fortress here, or Fort Appaloosa, was it? Yeah, Fort Appaloosa. Yeah, we can go exploring now, not that there's too much to do. I already got the uh, zebra potion that was in the pot over there, but now we can finally come up here and get this, which is just a zap apple. It's totally cleared out of uh, bodies. Not that there's much you can get here that's of really any worth. <laughs> I mean, we got the zap apple there, and then over here we have a couple treasures to get. Nothing of those, but yeah, we got a coffee. Okay. And a true form pin that I really don't care about, so... Yeah, that's literally everything we can get from here. So... Yay? <laughs> I might even just... What does the true form pin do again? I think I might just sell that, honestly. Eventually. Oh yeah, I already sold my other one, because I don't need that. Petrify very rarely comes up, and I have other means of getting around that by the time it ever does anyway, so. Yeah, otherwise, I have some things to do with rarity, although I do want to rearrange my party just slightly before I do that, so I'll go back up to the airship real quick and be right back. Alright, I've got uh, Cadence and Scootaloo in the party. Cadence because I specifically want her to start, because, well, she desperately needs to learn some spells, so I want to actually start with uh, the death spell there, since that will be very useful in the future and all that, but... Yeah, she's one freaking point away from learning Fire Rock, come on! <laughs> and practically there for Rasmus and Osmos as well, so... I'll let, I also need Sweetie Belle to kind of keep on learning some stuff, so... She's coming with me as well, even though I don't actually need her. Now, I want to go over to the Belt, because that'll help me power up Rarity. And I have Scootaloo with me, because that will also help me power up Rarity, since I can learn uh, lures from monsters, and I can also learn them from Scootaloo. So just as long as they're in the, the battle somewhere, uh, we can learn them. Now, what pack am I even in? Cyber... Oh, this is like one beyond what I otherwise wanted. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, you're silenced. Wonderful. <laughs> now you can't emulate what I wanted. Dread it. <laughs> Dang it. I wanted her to use some skills there, but apparently not. What can I even sketch from you? Anyway, I need... Three abilities that I can learn uh, from Scootaloo right now. <laughs> and by the way, you do not have to learn these skills for rarity right now. I'll go over that after I've learned them. 
But, uh, yeah, I'm basically, like, right at the end of the pack, so... <laughs> Try it! Okay, Scootaloo, I need you to... Let's see, use Dark Behemoth. There we go, Comet! Which is a, an ability that Rarity can learn. In version 1.0, this was more or less like a better version of a thousand needles. But it's a little bit better now. Because it doesn't ignore defense anymore, but it's a fairly high-powered single-target uh, lore there. It doesn't cost too much either. I mean, well, it sort of costs a lot compared to, like, Aqua Breath, but... It's relatively high-powered. It's actually pretty nice uh, for bosses right now. So, Scootaloo still has two other moves that I want to learn from her. And I also want to just fight stuff on here, since, uh, well, I'm only gonna need Scootaloo for these couple of abilities. Let's see, so otherwise I want the, where is it, the Chimera, which has two skills that I want. Ha ha! One of them is Landslide, formerly known as Mudslide in version 1.0. This is a very unique Earth Elemental spell because it ignores Float, as you see there. Awesome. I don't really ever use it, but it's there, because, well, virtually nothing in the game is weak to the Earth Element, so... It's just nice, I guess. Now, let's see, I also want to use the Chimera again, because it has one other skill that I want, which is Twister, formerly known as Windstorm. This and Mudslide, or, uh, Landslide are essentially the same thing as they were before, except they're slightly weaker, but they ignore split damage now. Twister, despite the fact that it costs more than Aqualung, is actually uh, the weakest of all of Rarity's elemental spells, because she gets seven out of the eight uh, elements this time around, and that's all I need to do with... Isn't that all I need to do? Yeah, that's all I need to do with uh, Scootaloo, so I'm gonna put her away now and pull in Flash Sentry, because he's kind of necessary for the rest of what I want to do, because I kind of need to go around and uh, find two specific, well, actually three specific enemies, one of which I really need Flash Sentry to uh, effectively work for what I need. But yeah, I need to get all the way back to pack 15 and 16. I was actually just in pack number two, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, I've already got Flash equipped off-screen with the Curved Knife, interestingly, because, well, that's just what I want. In fact, I don't want you to have that, uh, hero ring. You're good with just the speed shoes for now. Yeah, so I'm going to get back around to pack 15 uh, off-screen real quick, and I'll be right back. Which, I'm also gonna fight stuff so I can get, uh, points and, er, magic points and money there, so. Uh, yeah, just kill stuff, Flash, would you? Thank you. Alrighty, I have set up the fight that I want, which is in pack 15. Yeah, just back up, it makes it a lot easier to go back and forth here. But here in pack 15, I can meet... Come on. Are we gonna get into a fight anytime soon? Thank you! <laughs> the Trappers, which I want to immediately confuse. So that uh, they'll start using some special skills that, ooh. Level four flare, got that one right off the bat, all right. That's an ability that Rarity can learn. Any enemy that is a multiple of level 4 will be affected by a flare spell, multi-target flare spell there, that uh, does suffer from split damage, if I'm not mistaken. So, But it's still really powerful on the enemies that actually works on. Really, guys? Come on. If need be, I might actually have to... Oh, there we go. Yeah, give these guys some um, uh, MP restoration on. So, yeah, we got the... Level 3 Confuse. Really, guys? All of you are gonna do these in a row? <laughs> Which I don't really ever use, because I could just use the stone spell if I really wanted to. One more! Come on, guys! You can do it! I think that's what you'll sketch as level 3 Confuses, but oh, they're all out of MP. Fine! Cider Cup. On one of you there. Come on. 
I can always buy more of these, so. Oh, th oh, that's what I was looking for. Dang it. When do you guys do it? But not that one. Dang it. Well, eventually they'll use level 5 death, which, as you might expect, uses the death spell on any enemies that whose levels are multiple level 5. That's actually quite useful against a multitude of enemies throughout the game, so... Including ones that, uh, well, we could meet very, very soon, so... Yeah, that one, yeah, those two, level 4 flare and level 5 death, definitely want those right now. And once I actually beat these guys, uh, there's the next enemy I want is, well, actually both the enemies I want are potentially in the very next pack. So, die guys, come on, thank you. All right, learn level three confused, level four flare, and level five death. They look really good in long form like that, instead of like L5 death and whatnot. Let's see, save state that, and are they right away in this next pack? Is what I want here? I ever get into a battle? Nice. Yes! Exactly what I wanted! Alright! Alright, Flash Sentry, fight one of these guys so that you use uh, Gym Missile, which we can learn stuff. I'm not really even sure why she can learn it, but it's a physical attack. Uh, would you confuse these guys so I can kind of like take them out? Like one by one. Ow! Uh... Oh, you're confused. Uh, I don't really want that. Oh, actually, don't you have... Oh, there we go. Yeah, you have Blizzard, so just kill this guy, would you? And some pony heal... Sweetie Belle. Now, I basically, at this point, I have to wait. Every pony. Because this guy's eventually can. Oh, that's right, he can revive them. Yeah, eventually can use an ability that uh, I want. Uh, let's see, just chainsaw one of them and that'll do for now. But I kinda. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait around for it, unfortunately. I don't think he can call them back if there's only one of them, so... This should be fine. I'm not even sure why he has this skill necessarily. I mean, I can surmise, because he used to have an ability called Discord, which Rarity can no longer learn in this version. But, uh, yeah, now he has this technically not new skill. But it did replace this the skill that was in this position, but I don't know how to trigger him to do it, necessarily. I know I can't sketch it. And yeah, I'm probably gonna have to sit here and wait. You have Rasp now, don't you? Get rid of that dude's uh, magic. This guy. Because they're just gonna be annoying otherwise. Oh, I could use that, actually. Nice. Use White Wind. Because eventually, he should use it, I hope. I'll get back to it whenever he does. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Finally, Moonbeam! This is... Pack 16 is the only one that this guy can appear in, too. Ow! Alright, let's, uh, just kill these guys off real quick. Aqua Breath, before he kills some pony. Yeah, because Moonbeam, it's actually the most powerful spell that Rarity can learn right now. Yeah, multi-target holy elemental spell. Lots and lots of damage there. <laughs> yeah, Gym Missile and Moonbeam. As far as I know, this is all the skills we can learn right now. I mean, because, uh... I mean, I know in the original you could get Step Mine, which is known as Traveler in this version, uh, as of the most recent update. But uh, you can't get that at this point anymore, so far as I know. But anyway, regarding all these different skills of rarities, 
You don't have to get these right now if you don't want to. Uh, because if you want to get everything that you just saw except for Landslide, you can acquire them simply by taking Rarity with you to the floating continents. Which is, uh, plus three more skills that, uh, well, two of which are totally brand new to version 2.0. So that's actually a really good reason to bring her in the first place, but uh, if nothing else, I really want to learn level 5 death and level 4 flare because they're useful immediately against the, well, portion that we're going to be doing just before the floating continent. And I also specifically want to learn moonbeam from the chaser there because otherwise I can, I'll have to learn that from the boss on the floating continent, and it's a really rare move that also could just flat out kill you, so that's not really a great way to learn it. And Twister also is something of a rare move that only the boss knows, so that's another reason why I wanted to just learn these from Scootaloo, it's just, you know, I have them anyway. Yeah, but otherwise, everything else, you could, well... You learn com yeah, I think you can learn Comet up there, too, is you can learn from the uh, various enemies up on the floating continent. So, yeah, you don't want to go to the, all the trouble I just did, which wasn't really that much trouble, other than almost getting killed. <laughs> then, uh, well, yeah, you don't have to. In any case, I think that's everything I wanted to do right now, although I could restock up on some items with... Uh, Celestia back at, you know, the, uh, counter lot there. Only other thing I might note is, depending on the party you want to take, you also might want to, at this point, buy, uh, a Thunderclaw, because it could be useful immediately, which I do not have one of those. But this is also your, uh, last chance to buy a Flame Claw, because stuff is, g uh, gonna change what's, uh, well, what's available to buy after this, and we're not going to be able to purchase these anymore. Any of the three elemental claws, so yeah, if you want them, get them now. I want at least one flame claw for the future, although that's not critical, but it's just something I want to do. So, who am I going to take with me to the Flint Continent? Is it the same as version 1.0? Find out next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6 version 2.0. Arrivederci!